Hello friends, May Flom here for Dress It Up Buttons. We're creating an I Spy style resin coaster packed with all kinds of things. For this project, you're going to need an assortment of Dress It Up buttons, some glitter, a resin mold, and some epoxy resin, which you see me mixing here in equal parts. It's very important to make sure you follow the manufacturer recommendations for whatever brand of epoxy resin you are using for this project. Typically though, you will mix equal parts, stir it up, and then start pouring. For this project, we're actually going to take several days so that we can really layer just tons of pieces in here so that when someone looks at it, there's a lot to look at and a lot to notice and see. For the starting part, and I'm doing a round coaster, I'm going to add some glitter in here into the resin and I'm going to create a base layer, very thin base layer of glittered resin. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is so that the backs of the buttons will not get seen. If this coaster gets flipped over, you're just going to see some beautiful glitter. And it also creates a fun little backdrop here to our piece. So as you can see, I've got my resin mixed, lots of glitter in there, and I'm just going to put this into the bottom and I'm going to let it set for at least three to five hours until it might be tacky, but it's firm. The pieces we add in will not sink in. I'm going to be cutting off any of the buttons that have a shank. I'm going to be cutting them off and I'm using this adorable pixie, a princess. I'm also gonna use a mermaid, a dragonfly. I'm gonna to try to get in some bigger pieces now. And the reason for that is as we put resin layers in, we don't want bigger pieces to be later because then they would rise out of the top. So we wanna make sure everything stays flush or less than the depth of the coaster mold, if that makes sense. So anything big I'm sticking in here and anything I want towards the bottom I'm putting in here. I have periwinkle hearts, I have micro hearts. We have so many fun things, little flowers. And I'm just going to continue to, if it has a shank on the back, use scissors or a cutter to snap that off and then place items repeatedly. Now, once I have items placed, I am going to do a thin layer of resin. I probably won't cover up the fairy or the princess, but other buttons will end up being covered. And you might notice I've got a second mold in here. That's because I have to mix minimum amounts of epoxy resin. So I tend to work on things in batches. And I am going to let that go ahead and cure at least a couple hours. Overnight is good. This project does take some patience because if you really want to get the depth, if you really want to have pieces in seemingly floating and different layers, you're going to have to do thin layers of resin and multiple layers of resin, and you're going to have to let it set. And this does work best with epoxy resin, so you are going to have to have that patience. But let me tell you something, it's worth it. And the project doesn't actually take that much time because you're only working on it a couple of minutes and then repeating, repeating until it is all full and <gasps> demold. So removing from the mold is my favorite part. Look at how beautiful that sparkle is. And you can see along the edge how there's just that glitter at the very bottom. And I like how the glitter accentuates the pieces. Now, what you see me doing there, if you get any glitter or any rough bits, you can sand them off or sometimes just flick them off with your finger. It's not difficult. This is a really easy project. I think this is a really fun, it would be great for a birthday party, for coasters on the table. It would be great for a gift. You could turn this into an ornament. You could do this smaller and make it a pendant. It's just so much fun. And I'm so in love with these new buttons from Dress It Up. I had to get creative and I'm so glad you came along. If you are inspired, be sure to create and tag Dress It Up buttons and share your creations on social media. We always love seeing what you create.